Hi, my name is Ed Woolsey. I'm from FFE Racing in Deer Park, New York. Uh, we're a full-time fabrication shop, and we also build everything from regular street cars to full race cars. Uh, we specialize in Volkswagen and Audi, but we do any sort of fabrication or large project. What I have here is uh, half of a four to one collector that we made in house. It's made out of one and a half inch stainless pipe, 304L grade. Um, these are cut in eight steps essentially. Um, you originally cut the first pieces, four of them. Uh, I cut them about five and five eighths of an inch long. Then uh, rotating, you know, rotating the pipe, you make two more cuts to get your half, you know, your quarters of the collector. This is one whole half. This will be two runners of a four cylinder manifold. Uh, these particular collectors that I made here are for batches of turbo manifolds that I make for the Volkswagen Audi market. Uh, and this is uh, 0.145 or 145 thousandths of an inch thickness. So uh, it's already pre-beveled, it's already pre-cleaned and brushed uh, on my industrial uh, grinder and uh, it's ready to be welded. Essentially, um, I ran a run directly down the center, right in the channel of the bevel that I've created. Um, we're using a Miller Synchrowave 250DX machine. Um, on this particular weld, and on some items that I do, I did have uh, a pulser enabled. Uh, I had a max amperage of around 135 amps on the panel, even though I didn't use that, that much until we got to the, uh, the end of it. Um, the hardware we're using, this is made by CK Worldwide. This is the extra large Pyrex gas lens, which we uh, purchased from ArcZone. Um, essentially, in the video, you'll see I move about 10 to 12 dabs and then stop. Uh, a lot of people focus on coloration, especially in the motorsports industry. Everything has to be beautiful as well as functional. Uh, if you're spending, you know, a thousand, two, three, four thousand on parts, you don't want it to look, you know, dirty or gray or ugly looking so that stopping gives you that gas coverage and having the large Pyrex cup gives you a much wider range of gas coverage as you move. If I had a traditional lens like this, a regular gas lens like a Weldcraft or uh, yeah, I think CK even makes them also. These are the regular sized traditional gas lenses. They're much much smaller. You can see the comparison right here. It's maybe a third of the size. Uh, you have a much smaller path before your gas coverage is no longer covering. So I move a couple, about an inch, stop. The machine has a pre and post flow set. So I have my post flow time set probably around nine seconds. And in that time, I get the proper coverage. The, the time that you set is one to cool the tungsten because if you shut it off too fast, the rule of thumb is one second per, I believe, 10 amps. So uh, we're going about 130 amps. I have it set about 10, 12 seconds, and I don't really ever stop completely before the gas finishes. I'm beginning again, so the, the tungsten is always cooled with gas. I did about four stops throughout the piece, and I'd make the other half, and then you weld across into the center, which you can see here. You go over the tops and right into the middle, tight in the center. And when I do get to this point, I have to switch to the other hardware because you physically cannot get this large cup far enough inside to have proper coverage so I switch to the traditional gas lens and on any of the other intricate pieces where there isn't the, the space you'll switch and you'll be able to get right inside to finish off the product. 